Hello everyone, it's Armstrong here from Madai Miniatures and today I want to trash bash some uh, spaceships. I have this couple of those wall plugs and I don't even know that I'm gonna use them. I have, this is a middle of a syringe. Well, I want to trash bash one spaceship, but yeah. And I have smaller wall plugs and some old lighter, I have ton of plastic card around me and some bits and pieces from different uh, hobbies that I'm in, 40k and so on. So my wife loves ice cream and this is a globe from a strawberry ice cream or something like that. I took one of those cut it and they built a biodome and then my wife showed me those it was some sort of cut snack so I built the next biodome and I built all together five of them and then my cat destroyed three of them so yay so I got left with two but what I'm thinking is just taking this and maybe attaching them to it to create some sort of bio ship and then some engines and stuff like that so without further ado just gra let's grab a super glue and pray it's gonna work somehow like this piece is quite substantial in size when you when you look at it and I know that mm, billion suns have some sort of probably scale hopefully but these are definitely out of scale because even when you think about what size it is it's gonna be those trees inside and those alleyways gonna be giant so yeah but that's the only issue when you build this kind of biodomes you need to paint inside first you cannot just take the dome and just toss it in and don't care yeah now like I have in here a small lake it's probably not very visible because of the opacity of the plastic but if in person it is actually visible so yeah just gonna place it wow yeah like that under it that's actually very nice I wasn't expecting that to be anything but like I gonna build this and I'm if I gonna build more biodomes I probably gonna attach two or three of them extra to just have this sort of well, bigger uh, bio vessel but right now I have those two different size biodomes and maybe some engines and when I think about this gonna probably have three big engines and some smaller ones so those wall plugs can go come in handy really for that mm. so yeah let's just attach those as the engines so two on the side and one on the top Again, this is not really planned video. I just have those pieces and I really wanted to save them from my cat who seemed to love them more than me for some reason. Wow, oh, there is a issue with the fact that the syringe have a slight lip to it. It was syringe from the mm, resin, two-part resin. It was actually connected with the other exact same piece. I just cut them apart and use it in a previous, one of the previous builds that I showed in my fleet. I think that it was the kind of pipe ship. And this have to be 
push the back. So yeah. Come on, just stuck to each other. And I still don't have a good idea what I'm gonna put on the front of it. Maybe I'm just gonna leave it as is. And of course, this didn't hold. But it's well covered in super glue, so don't know why. Now the third engine. Yeah, ever so slightly staggered because of how the syringes are built. scratch building I always mess up and you see it all because I do not edit it out okay now it should be finally flat enough to allow for proper connection hopefully of course Maybe just the kind of plastic and it just don't want to connect. for this to dry and this flimsy connection got broken because of my fingers slipping all right it was good so that's how this spaceship looks so far and my fingers are completely covered in super glue So now I'm just thinking about putting something in front as a some sort of bridge but I really don't have any good ideas for this but I have plenty of those little domes so I can make some sort of a Oh, come on, don't. Okay, it's stuck to my mat, so I'm gonna remove it after making the video. I can just make, put those in here. Just to give some sort of points of interest. They may be some smaller biodomes. Of course, they are opaque, so You wouldn't be able to look inside of them. And then I can use them as well on the front. Oh, it didn't stop. Sorry about that. At the front of a spaceship to create 
a <sighs> the original glue don't want to hold too well. I'm gonna come back with super glue like I always do to this by just pointing. I'm just uh, getting them stuck on the surface so they just tack in here and then I'm gonna go with super glue and stick it so yes that's <clears throat> let's just say that this didn't happen that's almost finished bioship I gonna paint the surface black and then I gonna come back with the painting part of the video and of course I gonna super glue all of those domes because they are just falling over okay so i'll be right back so now that we have it painted black i will just go and dry brush it silver at least the black surfaces uh, the dry brush is only for me to have more of a colorant really and to, I don't know, I just like the black and silver color scheme. Although most of my spaceships are actually yellow. But how you can see this actually brings out the silver very well. And I know that there are some blues being visible inside of the crannies, but this is the under side of the spaceship, so I don't think that you're gonna see this side too often and because of all of these ridges and all of the little details that the that we have here the silver is catching very well and I'm not doing very light dry brushing I'm actually going with quite heavy-handed here just thinking about what color to do the engine burn and I think just gonna go with some sort of red no let's change it to purple I have orange and blue engine burns but I never tried purple so just grab rich purple from games workshop no no any other reason that it was very near to my hand and again with my dry brush because I need to fill up this in, inside of the of the wall plug and this is well coated with some sort of mold release I guess when they was molding them so be generous with the paint and whenever you have some splashes on the surface they actually look cool so I think that I'm gonna go back and dry brush it purple as well let's try it it's a time for experimentation i guess <laughs> not like i planned this video so oh my goodness it is actually better than i expected at least in my opinion so yes a little bit of purple dry brush really works for this at least for me So I guess black, metallic and purple works well. Yeah, so that's how it turned out. You can pick the uh, some of them, you know, in different color, but in my honest opinion, I don't really think that bridge of any spaceship would be in the front or 
extremely visible to the enemies to just shoot at it and destroy the spaceship in one blast. I think that in most cases spaceship bridge should be located somewhere in the middle of it. You know, the most secure place. <clears throat> uh, I build another dome. I'm just thinking about putting it in here. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have any reason to it, but I just want to have a next dome. I think that anything with a number of three, five, seven works. Everything with number of two is a bad composition. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my goodness, why do I have my, my super glue got stuck again? All right. So yeah, just some super glue on the edge here and I don't know, somewhere in here. It's gonna be very messy. But yeah. So this is how it turns out, at least for now. Only thing left is maybe adding some two more domes because I have plan, plan for five of them and the base. So I will base it and after it I will make photos of how it turned out. So for now, thank you very much for watching and please rate, comment, subscribe and press the, press the notification bell to receive in, uh, well information from YouTube whenever I post something new. Bye for now and have a lovely day.